Hi everyone, it's Veronica and in this video I'll show you how you can create a custom result slide here in Storyline. So let's take a little quiz. So this is my result slide in this case. I have a semi-tidy office. So let's see how we can create this custom slide. So we're back here in our storyline edit mode and this is the actual result slide that we're looking at here. And you can see we have five layers that are possible for the results. If you get all questions correct, if you get only three questions correct, two, one or zero. So let's have a look at how we're going to build this. The first step is to create a variable. This variable is going to count how many correct answers the user has uh, gotten. So I'm just going to call it count and it's going to be a number variable as it will be counting and we'll start it off with a value of zero. So I'll say OK to that. Now what I want the variable to do is to count one, to add one point every time the user gets a question correct. Therefore, what I'm going to do is go to my correct layer for each question and add a trigger that says adjust variable count to add a value of one and I'll say when the timeline starts on this layer because I know that if the learner arrives at the correct layer they have answered the question correctly so I'm confident that adding one to that variable at the start of this timeline is the right thing to do so the next thing I'll do is copy this trigger by clicking on this copy icon and go to question two I'll go to my correct layer and I will paste it the trigger is the same I just want to add one to the variable when the user answers question two correctly. And I'll do the same across all four questions, always on the correct layer. Question four, correct layer, and paste. So the next thing we want to do is go to the actual results layer. And we need to add some triggers here to tell Storyline when to show each of those layers with the different results. So I'm going to say show layer, Let's start with zero correct. When the timeline, I'll say when the timeline ends because I have a few items on this slide, as you can see here, that appear and finish off at about seven seconds. So I'll say, and the timeline finishes off at 7.25. So when the timeline ends, I want to show layer zero correct and we're going to use some conditions. So on the condition that the variable count is equal to zero and this would mean that the user got zero points so the variable never added any points to it. Now I'm going to copy this one four times, paste it four times, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to go quickly here and adjust to show layer one correct if the value of count is one. <laughs> So this should show the correct layer when the user arrives at the results slide. So there's just a couple more things that we need to do now. First of all, we need to go to each of the results layers and have a look at this button here. This resets the whole activity so they can do it again, but we also have to reset that variable back to zero. So we're going to say when the user clicks rectangle one, which is this button, we're going to adjust the variable count back to zero. That should be when the user clicks that rectangle. And it could also work if you did it when the timeline starts, of course. So there we go. I'm going to move it up so that it's the first trigger that fires. Copy 
and paste it across. So now the activity can be replayed and it'll reset completely every time. And one final thing we need to do, at the top corner of each of these layers, I actually have the results showing for the learner that says how many questions they got correct out of four, but we need to add the reference to the variable so that it'll actually say 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. So we just go into make sure that you're inside the text box and go to insert reference, select the variable count, say OK and I'm just going to add a little space in there and now I'll just copy that and I'll do it across all of the layers. <laughs> So now every layer will actually give the user that result and of course the message of how condorific they are or not. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you next time. Bye.